Many sports have many different disciplines. This is a type of cycling where riders do a set distance over a set time. It's called Audax and in June 2014 Ireland played host to one of the 1200 kilometer events which are the flagships of the sport. The word Audax is from the Latin for boldness. It might be bold for some people to ride five miles to the nearest town, while others require something more demanding than that. What's not to love, eh? So the beauty of an Audax is very much in the eye of the beholder. This, actually, this event is perfect. Although it's always a good idea to expect the unexpected. I actually went to a bike store ah, in Dingle, no, we yeah. bought new tubes, yeah. broken frame, around. broken chains, punctures, you name it. And while Audax is avowedly non-competitive, people being people, they're always going to rank things. How's it comparing to LEL then? Uh, well, it's a bit more up and down. A bit more up and down. It was scenic too though, isn't it? It's great, yeah, the coast is always good. Audax is always have the same times for the same distances allowed. No matter how big the hills or how bad the weather. We had a few hills that I believe we should have kept for spares. So boldness is a bit of an elastic term. Much will depend on the actual design of the course and what the weather's like on the day. You can't finish before a certain time or after a certain time and be accredited. The finishes at the end can take twice as long as those who finish first. That's a fairly broad limit to design a course within. Climbs and descents are always going to feature. And there's always room for the picturesque. So again, while these events aren't competitive, we can expect the organisers to pull out the stops, especially for a flagship national event. You guys are bad riding up here, eh? Bad, bad. Just be careful. In 2013, all that's United Kingdom had staged an ambitious 1,000 rider event. That had gone off very well and been very well received. In June 2014, Aldax Island staged a national event. Ireland's got a 10 for the population of the UK, so 100 riders on the event seemed about right. I'd enjoyed filming London and Edinburgh London, and I was looking forward to renewing old friendships and making some new ones in the new country. I'd be seeing 1,200 kilometres of that new country in three and three quarter days. Essentially, most of what the South West had to offer.